it's eight o'clock in the morning and this is what I'm talking about 128 watts coming in and it's not even the Sun isn't even shining yet so the solar panels face towards the morning Sun is making a massive difference in here because before I wouldn't have any Sun charging till mid morning to late morning so this is nice this is um, setting up those four solar panels facing the morning to noonday Sun helps a lot as you can see it's not even sunny um, there's where the Sun would be if it could so I'm getting a lot more power than I would have gotten the other day well the health department was here as well uh, put more fire under my butt so uh, I'm clearing out this meadow I've got the shower gone and all the garbage that was around here and I've got the little tank moved away I am going to move this out back there where I believe I'm going to have my water source in the future anyway it'll be um, out of the main path and out of the meadow because I have to work this soil and uh, get ready for planting I moved to the shower over here which is now going to be a very perfect well nearly perfect I need a back wall on it it's a composting bin that will be my um, composting bin for the twigs and mulch that I make so that's where the stuff can sit and rot and degrade throughout the whole season I'm not sure if that's precisely where it's going to be I might square it off or uh, make it more optically pleasing but one way or another that's what that's going to be I also changed my mind about something this is moving out for now I need a place to work here if I can get my truck to do the job nicely without spinning and tearing up the grass this is going back in there I found a spot for it right back in that opening right there and it's gonna I'm just gonna pull it forward so the back is facing this way so I can get in and out easy and access it for now that'll be a, um, a good spot to get it out of the way so I can work this area and try to pretty this up oh I also moved the wood pile notice it looks better here already um, having all these inspectors on my case I just have to make it look good uh, first appearance is everything so the wood pile is neatly over here oh well, what's left of the wood and then all these leaves once look there's still ice in the ground once these leaves are um, freed up from the snow and ice I'm gonna rake them up and compost them and mulch them in the machine clean this whole place up and uh, all the loose sides and ends batteries and and stuff around the, the old camper are gonna be put away everything's gonna be properly out of sight and neatly put away all the stuff under the survival camper will be neatly put away I'm still packing that up and sorting it out so I'm getting better and better slowly I think I'll actually take these solar panels as well um, they're gonna go back to this camper out there uh, I won't receive as much power but I'm not using that power right now very much all it needs to do is run a Bedini motor for me for now a couple Bedini motors so those batteries will be from the old camper will be put in here and um, I'm trying to find a tent that I can use I don't want to spend any money um, I I do earn money from YouTube and from ads on my websites somebody actually the, the my enemies seem to think that I'm rich and that I own mansions and have uh, sell properties and have multiple jobs and businesses I do have two websites the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project um, they pay the groceries that's what they do they pay the groceries YouTube pays my bills and not too much other than that so far uh, I'm open about my stuff I'm open about my income and if I was rich I would not be living like this I would not be out here or even claim to be out here I'd still be off the grid but I'd have a much better more professional looking solar panel setup and I would have 
a really nice set of batteries and a nice battery bank and professional connectors and I wouldn't have deer and raccoons and everything ripping it up. So just want to mention that and be open about my my life. Sure if I was rich I'd be off the grid. But I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be doing good off grid stuff. Rich off grid stuff. I mean look at this. They seem to say that this is the uh the workmanship of a man who has no skill. Well, I never claim to be an expert in anything, but I get it done. It works. Well, I'm off the grid. It's just that I don't have a lot of money to do it nicely. <clears throat> anyway, this is moving. I don't want to empty it out and tear it down and move the shelving, so I'm going to try to go very, very, very slowly and try to make this happen. Well, it's coming out. Now, I don't claim, claim to be a good trailer driver, but uh, I'm going to get it. It's going to be all right. I'll just let you watch where I plan on doing this here. Hopefully you can get the whole overview as I go.
why it's taking me so long. I got this hump here of dirt. And over here, a very hairy situation. I'm going to be hitting this uh, 10 rough. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very, very tight. Uh, it's really a tough spot. I'll see what I can do. I'm going to pause the camera for a minute so I'm not running back around. Otherwise, you'll be bored looking at nothing. This is hairy. Wah, I did it. I didn't even touch. Really, really slow and easy. Oh, yeah, it scraped a tiny bit. Slow and easy. Nice and gentle. I'm getting it. It's going to come out of here in one piece. That was hairy. And there is some rich, fertile soil. That's going to be awesome for gardening this year. So, there's a method to my madness. People are going to ask me, why, why, why do you want that so far away from everything? Because it looks ugly. It's really ugly. And people are calling the police on me, so I'm going to clean it up. Everything's going to come out of here eventually. Gonna have a beautiful landscaped garden. I'm gonna have a nice organic chicken range, an awesome herb garden, with some apple trees. All the garbage comes out of here. Now that's not exactly flat. I'm gonna do my best, and then I'll have to trim the trees over here a little bit. Um, saying about trying to center the thing a little bit, I still have to get my truck out. And the reason I want to drive it in is it's just easier. I want the back door facing this way. And uh, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is back it up a bit and bring it in a little bit more over to the side some more. But I still need room to get that truck out after I'm done. So I just can't uh, be closing myself off with that truck. Although I can level the camper some. So yeah, I'm gonna bring it over a little bit more 
but I won't bore you with the motions there. I figure I'll leave my truck here for a while too, for now. It's not bothering anybody back here. And there it is. The home of the workshop. Solar powered workshop on wheels. It's level this way, and it's not too bad this way, honestly. Now I've got it on boards and chocked. The wheels are on boards and they're chocked. I've got the jacks that I'll put up. It comes with jacks, which is very nice. And I got that on boards. I'll probably reset that better later once I get the jacks around the rest of the camper. Over here, on a board and chocked. It's not going anywhere. So now, <laughs> let's see how it looks inside. I tried to go slow. Oh, so far everything's in place. Everything is perfect. Everything is exactly where I left it anyway. Perfect it is not, but everything's in place. Good. Good. Nothing moved. Nothing fell. Not a single thing fell. Very good. I was worried about that. Well, here it is. The home of the workshop. I gotta bring out oh, my pallet and put down. I'll have to level it off a bit. My truck tires sunk in a bit. I'll have to uh, uh, bring out my pallet that I step up on. This was this was soft, but I think the leaves gave me good traction. It's really wet here. I actually went into the water. Wow! I didn't realize how far forward I came here. Scary was all the way up into here into this water. That truck is amazing in four-wheel drive. I am really impressed. Had no idea what I was getting when I got that truck. Nice. So I was all the way up into here. Very nice. Well, time for a late brunch. Ah, oh, looking good. So all that clutter is coming out of the meadow. Eventually the solar panels will look good when I get them set up properly on on bars and supports, but for now it is what it is I gotta figure out where the garden tent's gonna go because that's not where it's gonna stay But at least up here looks a little better A little bit better And now I've got space to work in the garden See, This has been bothering me for days. I keep walking out here and I keep looking and that camper was in my way, and it didn't look good. It was too much clutter. Just too much clutter. Now I can work on the garden. Actually now, the compost frame, which it will be, doesn't even look bad back there, because it's out of sight, out of the line of sight. It's looking better. Look at all the space I opened up now. So, now, we line up our three beams. Yeah, it went right through where the camper is. So now I'll stake this garden out and finish it after lunch. Let's see what it looks like when we come in here now. I still got some oddball piles of things to clear up and some things under the truck camper to get rid of. The truck camper is going to go away. That's going to require some chainsaw cutting and permission from the landlady. It's going to go off into the a special secret place. Um, well, it's more open. When I move that wood pile, that'll be better. It's more open. It's getting there. Bit by bit, it's getting there. Well, I truly did not get much video today, but it looks better with the truck gone. It looks better with the wood pile cleaned up looks much better it looks better with the workshop gone I mean seriously I did a lot of work today but I sh just didn't have the camera rolling it's just too much trouble when you're in a hurry and working look at that clear open space nice the tank is going to be moved back um, out by where the trailer is uh, because that's eventually where my home's going to be so I need to drag that off, but that's got water in it, so that's going to be awkward. 
it didn't fully empty when I drained it. There's a couple, few gallons in there, and the thing's heavy on its own. Well, that's going to be dragged off. The gardens, actually, I'm probably going to do that right now. I still got an hour before I have to leave for church. Uh, shadows are getting long, though, but I'm going to kick out these raised beds. I know I'm probably going to get some flack from some viewers, but I don't care. It is how it's going to be. They don't look nice. I am tired of uh, the mess here. So this is going to be cleaned up. And pretty soon it's going to look very good. But even the brush pile over here and the tent stakes I removed, I just don't like the view. I've, I've, I want to get everything out of sight, everything neat, everything built more organized. So I'll probably carry that off to the compost bin over there. And eventually, when I put up the, two, the back pallets on the back side of that, that'll be a full bin. And I'm just going to take my um, mulcher and set it in front of there and let the machine just blow this stuff right into there and fill it up. That's going to be how that will work out. That will just fill that thing right up with uh, mulch for next year, for fertilizer for next year. So uh, it's coming along and getting better. I'm also going to clean up. I've got my truck tire. That's my spare tire, which I never did mount. I'm going to um, take all these rocks and take them down, clean it off. Actually, the rains will clean it for me nicely. And I'm going to use all these rocks as a border for where the flower garden is going to be. There's going to be some um, uh, coming around the edge of that tree and coming around this way a bit and going along right around the pattern there and around that tree is going to be some ground cover and shade loving flowers. And I'll have some um, some creeping type things up in the middle where that dead tree is. I mentioned that a while back. But all these rocks are going to come off here. Now that I have a wheelbarrow, I can do that better. And then around the edge of this tree base here, up to this tree, and around the rock, and then back up to there. It's going to look really nice this year. So, I mean seriously, the first view people are going to get is going to be a nice view from now on. I want the first impression to be good. Because uh, that, that also gonna, is not only going to save my butt when um, my friendly favorite police phone caller keeps calling the state troopers, but it's also going to just be very nice looking here and nice to live with. So, I don't know, it's, uh, it's looking good. I think it's looking really good. moisture does with time. I could have used screws but I used recycled nails. these planks I started to use as walkways and now that I've got a machine I can use mulch in between anyway it's better oh there's a ton of worms down here wow there are so many worms down here it's amazing 
and in my garden. Ah, they're liking that. Oh, there's rodents in here. And there's ice. Well, there's ice down. That far down is full of ice yet. It's gonna look better. Now, all this stuff, once I get the tiller, I'll till this whole area and then work this out. I'm gonna evenly spread it out into the whole yard or the whole uh, garden and till that in, work it in, along with this heap here. I'm gonna have a seriously fertile garden here. Really nice. Well, there's a uh, onion that didn't make it. Oh well. Um, the tomatoes were awesome here, but hiding the onions under the tomatoes was stupid. I learned. It was an experiment, and I learned. I've got 300 onions to plant. Uh, I got them in Michigan and brought them over. i got to get them in the ground before it's too late, so I'm urgently seeking a tiller on the internet uh, and discount. In fact, the, uh, the stores, the hardware shops this year don't even have the tillers out yet. So you can't even buy them new yet. Um, everything's late this year, but I gotta get it done. Get some planting. This is gonna be one of the top priorities. It's gonna be a good year. So I'll catch you later. I think that looks better. I didn't like those boards sticking up and rotting and breaking up. No more. So uh, it's back to Eden for me. It's going to be a uh, square foot rose with the back to Eden method. That's still got to go. But now I'm getting a cleared out meadow. Now the solar panels are looking chunky. I need to get them up properly, but I don't have any materials. All I have is a uh, rotting pallet wood that's left over. Nothing's really good enough to build nice looking frames. I'm going to give that some thought because these solar panels look ugly right now. I don't like it at all. Um, that is now an eyesore. So, although it's functional, it's ugly. Now, I do have some wagon wheels, some lawnmower wheels somebody sent me last year that I'm going to use. For now, I think what I'm going to do is have wheelbarrow type frames for these solar panels in pairs, like sort of like that is. If they're in pairs and on neat looking structures, um, but this structure is not neat looking. I did like the appearance of that, but it's breaking down with time. It is getting weak and it's not going to last much longer. Again, that was used pallet wood, um, so it just didn't hold up very well. It was all used materials out of the forest and pallets I had gotten and dug up, so it didn't, 
it didn't last well. I mean, it did its job. It served me, but it's falling apart. So that'll be another project. I'm thinking about it right now, just for information. I'm giving it a lot of thought how to do this. Low cost, because I don't have any much money to spare. Um, I have to get a home, and I ha might have to get a drain field or a sewage system. I'm going to find that out tomorrow. But that split, can you see that? That cracked badly in the winter. I think what happened is this leg sunk in and then it cracked. So actually it's all leaning in a bad way. But yeah, that's another project. And then everything will start looking better, bit by bit. So right now I want to get this brush pile and these stakes out of here. I don't look very good. All the all these uh, twigs and branches and all this junk, this all has to go. I just uh, I can't have this stuff in, in view anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of how this place looked. No more. Although that was just temporary, it had to go. Same with the stakes. They gotta go. I can't have this stuff in view anymore. There's, I'm tired of seeing it myself, honestly. I'm just tired of seeing it all. No more temporary stuff in view. If it's temporary, it's gonna be out of sight. Neatly. Anyway, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, but it's gonna look better. No more garbage laying around. Some friends advised, advised me to get rid of these stumps as well. I'm gonna need a heavy equipment mover for that. But I think I probably will eventually. That certainly looks better. With those stumps gone, it'll look really good. That little pile, nice and neat, doesn't even hardly show up now. Not at all, looks good. Much better. Let me show you something inside the old camper that I just discovered. Um, the blinking on the Harbor Freight charge controller has gone away. Oh, by the way, there's the solar, sorry, I'm out of breath. Uh, there's the solar electric fence, 9,000 volts, meant to stop a horse that I'll be using 
on my uh, new fence when I'm done out here. The new fence will be around the whole perimeter of the meadow. Um, forgive the mess, it's storage in here now. Until I clean this all up. Normal blinking. 11.2 uh, volts. Yesterday it was around 7 volts at the end of the day. So, uh, the batteries are still catching up, still being charged. It's going to take time with only 90 watts going into 200 amp hours of batteries, but it's going to get there. It's coming back up. So, right now it's showing low voltage because it's, uh, it's below 12. So I was seeing a high voltage because it was peak charging. I was seeing the blinking because the batteries were way, way, way too low, and the poor charge controller was trying to do its job. Uh, a few more days, I think it'll be all right. 80 degrees inside, 65, 66 out. It uh, turned out to be a sunny day and hot. It was uh, 71 degrees outdoors last I looked a while ago. I just never had a chance to grab the camera and uh, show you. But it's going to be cloudier tomorrow, according to the weather. So, I had a good day though. Gotta head out to church, so I'll talk to you all later.